Good afternoon. A favored debating tactic of the left is something that I like to call rapid-fire assertion. And simply put, it is the art of making several assertions, all that are a little bit more ridiculous than the last, but each one of them effectively builds off of the one that came before it. And it goes a little something like this. As an example, we live in a world in which a great number of the historical atrocities have been committed by people who have mustaches, or people who have the capability of growing mustaches, against people who do not have mustaches. Now, since you can look back, a great many statues have mustaches, and therefore, since we venerate people with statues, people with mustaches are strategically advantaged over people without mustaches. Therefore, the way that we can solve all of the world's problems is by taking the people who have mustaches and stealing their wealth and systemically disadvantaging them, and if possible, putting them in prison or making them second-class citizens, and therefore, this is the only way to move forward and to create a perfect world, and this will solve all of the world's problems. So, that is basically rapid-fire assertion. They point out something that might have a tiny nugget of truth, and then they continue building off of that in a ridiculous way until they say, we live in a mustache supremacy society. And at that point in time, the argument has gotten so ridiculous and likely so far off its original track that you don't know where to go. And some of these claims are so outrageous or sometimes downright insulting, you feel the need to address them. The problem is, is that a lot of debates take place in very broad, open ground. And by that I mean that the debate topic itself, generally speaking, is something that is very open and broad, such as oh, we have a problem with our civilization, where we have social unrest, or we have something, 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 we have poverty, we have issues. So therefore, they can make these very wide, very rapid-fire assertions, and when you attempt to target one of them, much like the heads of a hydra, it will retreat, and then the others will come in to bite you. They will begin saying that you yourself are a mustache supremacist because you yourself can grow a mustache, therefore you are no longer qualified to speak on the situation. Even if they themselves can grow a mustache, they will simply then make the assertion, oh yes, but I am a mustache apologist, you see. I'm an ally to those without mustaches. Which again, a ridiculous assertion. But if you try to attack them, then they will come back and say, yes, but our history. So you come back and attack them, and they will say, yes, but modern day issues. You come to attack that one, and so on and so forth. Again, it's very much like fighting a Hydra. So, how does one defeat rapid-fire assertion? Well, it's very simple. Much like trying to defeat a giant monster with many heads, you simply have to bring it onto favorable ground to which you can then engage it. One head at a time. Simply put, when somebody begins making rapid-fire assertions, do not let them continue until the end. What you do is that you let them get to the end, and then you bring them to the first assertion, target it, zero in on it, and when they try to move back into open ground, you simply refuse and zero in on that first assertion. If you know that you can actually challenge it in a logical way. So, if in the case of the mustache argument, you can simply say, yes, but there were plenty of atrocities committed by people without mustaches. In fact, if you look back historically, you may be able to see that most atrocities were committed by people without. So when they try to pull you back and say modern times, just realize every single assertion that they make is, for the most part, built off of that first one. Because after all, if the vast majority of atrocities were not committed by people with mustaches, then how does that translate into an innate historical advantage worth the mustached? It doesn't. So you must simply look at their argument, be very specific, pick the one upon which all of the other arguments rest or at least stem from, and then zero in on it, do not let them get away. Simply put, pull the argument back onto favorable ground where you yourself can challenge their keystone argument and cut out the Hydra's heart. Do not try to fight the heads on open ground, they will simply pull back and the rest will attack you. What you have to do is you have to focus in on the heart of the argument. Now, why do they use this tactic? 
Yeah, because it works. Most people, because they spend a lot of time on social media that has 15 minute videos, 30 second videos, or I said, sorry, I said 15 minutes, I meant 15 seconds. 15 second, 30 second, one minute videos, and these are the most popular TikTok, you know, I'm talking to you. The fact of the matter is, is that people's attention span is slowly and very strategically being shortened. So, spending a lot of time thinking about these arguments just isn't hard-coded into most people's heads anymore. It makes for great sound bites when you can simply make an assertion that, on its surface, would disqualify your opponent, but in reality, is nonsensical. Because most people are not going to stick around to actually examine the statement. They're just going to take the statement at face value so long as it is said with enough confidence. Which is the issue. Unfortunately, the fake it till you make it has gotten to the point where you can't really follow people to the make it or not make it point. For the most part, people just taking the fake it at hate at face value. So... That is just a quick little thought video today, and I hope all of you have a nice day. Once again, get into nature, eat fresh organic foods, drink plenty of water, exercise a little bit, get some sun, touch the grass, talk to your family, and remember that you will make it through this and that tomorrow can be a better you. Y'all have a very nice day.